Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nook, and today we're going to take a look at a brand new Nook. This one is out from Intel, and this is the Gen 10 Frost Canyon Intel Nook based on the Comet Lake chipset. So let's take a quick look at its uh, external features. We have uh, the power button, which is illuminated. We have a 3.5 millimeter four pin jack, which is used for your HD audio, and it is headset or earbud compliant. We have two USB ports. One is the type A. This is a USB 3.1 Gen 2, 10 gigabit. This is also a Gen 2, but this also supports quick charging. So this, uh, if it detects a cell phone or tablet that supports quick charge, it will switch to the higher voltage for those devices and charge them quicker. Taking a quick look at the back, we have an actual Thunderbolt USB type C with Alt DP and Thunderbolt uh, three all in one connector. We have two more USB uh, 3.0 gen two ports, 10 gigabit. We have an Intel 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet port, an HDMI port that supports protected content, and then our DC jack 19 volt input. On the side, you can see that we have a large air and lead area with the Kensington uh, lock. The other side, you can see we have a full size SD card slot. The top is the familiar re replaceable lid that you're familiar with on the Intel Nooks. This is the Gen 8, so it is slightly larger, or I'm sorry, Gen 10, but it matches the Gen 8 lid. So it's slightly larger. So now under the lid, what we have is our two Wi-Fi and Bluetooth radio antennas. We have the cavity where the heat sink sits in the back and a large blower to, to blow air. And then the hole is to run uh, functional lids that which have electronics in them to run their cables down inside to plug them in. And then the bottom we have our familiar Visa mount holes. And as you can see, this one is not uh, doesn't have a huge label with a bunch of certifications. This is actually a pre-production, which is denoted by the PP. So this is a pre-production Nook, tenth gen. This particular one is the i3. I also have the i7, and it is the Frost Canyon, and it's the K model, which is the one without the two and a half inch drive bay. So this is it. Uh, we'll take another look inside uh, on our next video. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the new Frost Canyon inside. I've pre-loosened the four screws. I have my anti-static smock and my wrist strap on. Please remember that anytime you have access to electronic devices directly, you can damage or destroy them with static discharges. So you want to always use an anti-static uh, uh, table surface. Um, if not, you at least a, a wrist strap uh, and a you know a smock if you can. So here's the inside of the new Frost Canyon Nook. Let me try to stabilize this there so you can get a good look. All right, on the right, we have the two uh, SO DIMM sockets. On the uh, right here is the wireless AC uh, Bluetooth module. It's soldered down. I'm sorry, this is a wireless AX module. This is the new Wi-Fi 6. So Wi-Fi 6 is wireless AX, um, uh, I think uh, 600. And then uh, it has to have Bluetooth 5. Uh, if I remember right, and um, this, I believe, is the 201 module. Uh, probably more technical details than you really needed, but wanted you to, to know what I know, right? Uh, this is the M.2 slot, and you can see that there is a, uh, a 2242 and a 2280 position. And then we have the two USB 2.0 ports up here. Uh, this cable is used for the SATA drive and power. Should you have the H model, which has the two and a half inch drive tray, then that's how it gets its uh, power and um, signal. 
the front panel header, uh, probably that one right there, it's always been there. This is the microphone uh, cable. So the, the four front microphones plug in here. Uh, you can see this one is a prototype. It actually has the BIOS is socketed instead of soldered down. And is there anything else to see? Um, this is the new Frost Canyon. This is the i3, but the motherboards for the i5 and i7 should be identical. All right. Thank you very much.